This video will continue on with the array videos that you've seen already. And in this video, um, what we've got is we have an array called AS names. It's an empty array. We have a variable for our counter. We have a variable that allows us to ask the user how many names they want to enter. And then we have a variable which actually gets the name from the user. Now remember, um, in the previous video I showed you, you could have just done this prompt inside of the push. And so what we did is we said as long as they entered in a number that's greater than zero, let's go ahead and do a loop starting at zero. And as long as zero is less than the number of names they want to enter, let's go get the name and then add that array that element, that name, to the end of the array. That's what push does. Adds it to the end of the array. It increases the size and sticks it in. So that loop loads up the data in the array. And after we load it up, then this loop prints out each item in the array. And we do it by accessing the array and then the position. 0, 1, 2, and so forth. Well, let's say that after we printed it out, in fact, let's do this. Let's just go ahead and say print the array. And remember in a previous video, we showed you you can do this. And that will just print every element separated by a comma. So let's print it off. And then what we want to do, let's go ahead and sort that array. And the array has a function slash method that allows us to sort the array alphabetically and it works with strings. So we could say as names dot sort. And so no matter um, what the data was, as long as it's a string in there, it's going to say let's sort each element of the array in ascending order, meaning the lowest goes first. Lowest meaning like um, an A. An A would show up first, and a B would show up next, and a C would show up, and so forth. So let's do that, and then let's print off the elements again. And right here, instead of using that for loop, we're just going to say alert. And we're just going to print off the whole array, just like that. And let's do the same thing after we sort it. Let's alert it one more time and see what happens. So let's go ahead and save that and run it and how many names let's say there's five names the first name is Zeus the second name is Hercules the third name will be Greg not very original the fourth name will be Spanky and the fifth name will be Alfalfa so when we look at our array, how we entered it, we have Zeus, Hercules, Greg, Spanky, Alfalfa. And then when we say sort, we're saying put all the A's first, then the B's, then the C's, and so forth. So after we do our sort and we print it off, we should see Alfalfa, Greg, Hercules, Spanky, and Zeus. Let's see if that worked. Alfalfa, Greg, Hercules, Spanky, and Zeus. And so that did work. And all we had to do was say the array name dot sort and that does it an ascending sort well let's try running it one more time maybe it's because I typed in capital letters so let's do we'll just do three names we'll go ahead and do lowercase Zeus and let's do uppercase alfalfa and lowercase Greg and let's see if it made a difference that's what it looks like on the input and after sorting alfalfa Greg and Zeus so if you notice the sort method function for the array doesn't care about the case so this is an ascending sort and case doesn't matter well let's do it one more time and this time instead of doing an ascending sort Let's do a descending sort, meaning we want the last, like a Z, to show up first. So how could we do that? Well, let's go ahead and, sorry, I like to line things up. 
sort of a bad habit, but a good habit. And this is going to be a descending sort, case doesn't matter. And instead of saying the word sort, this time we're going to say reverse, parenthesis, parenthesis. Let's save that. And let's try to run it one more time. So three names to enter. Zeus, um, Alfalfa, and Spanky. Zeus, there's the array contents. There's the ascending sort. There's the descending sort. So by just using the word reverse instead of sort, you can actually do a descending or an ascending. Sort is an ascending, meaning A comes first. Reverse is a descending, meaning Z comes first. Now this only works with strings. That only works with strings. What if we actually had um, an array of integers? So that'll be the next video we look at.